What if your phone could teach you a new language by just scanning the room and taking a picture? Well today I'm showing you Google Eyes experiment that does exactly that. An AI powered way to learn real life language skills through mini bite sized lessons. Let's have a look. So here's the deal. Google's been quietly running an experimental project called Little Language Lessons. It's not just an app, it's not Duolingo. This is a set of AI powered micro lessons built using the Gemini models. So this experiment is not there to kind of replace study time, it's to complement it. You know, making learning part of your everyday life. So these are the three lessons that are currently included in the Gemini test with Google. We've got one for useful phrases and grammar, one for slang and conversation, and the third one, my favorite, the one that turns your camera into vocabulary. There's a big list that you can access. So you'll see here it says little language lessons is an early stage experiment. Although its intent is to help language learners, this tool is, as uses generative AI, so its outputs may not always be accurate or complete, at least they're being honest. We recommend cross references with reliable sources. Okay, let's start with these and go with the first one, which is tiny lessons. So so tiny lessons is like quick vocab, you know like when you go to GBT and you say like I want to order a coffee in Spanish or English. It will give you like text, whereas with this you're getting the audio as well so it's great for listening and speaking. So with tiny lessons you can click try it and then it gives you ideas, taking a taxi, going on a first date scuba diving, attending a concert, reading a lost passport. There's lots of different options, anything you could think of. This is generative AI. It's like going into GP doing the same. Just click your target language. I've lost my passport. Generate. There we go. So it gives you ideas in a British accent. Passport. I've lost my passport. How do I apply for an emergency passport? So we've got vocabulary, phrases and tips. And then it gives you what you could say, like for example, when you're talking about this. And just have a look at the tips as well. When talking about something that has just happened, this is still relevant now. So it's explaining to you everything you need to know. For example, let's try going on a first day. Oh, it could be an interesting one. On a first day, what could they say? So what are the most useful phrases, do you think? Fancy. Fancy. Fancy, nice. Chuffed. Chuffed. Yeah, so good. Similar to pleased or delighted. Are you free for a pint? Pub. Pub. Interesting that the first date is a pub. I can tell this is very British. <laughs> Are you free for a pint? Are you available to go for a beer? I'm absolutely chussed. He's a bit of a lad. I'm really going into like proper phases. He's a bit of a lad. We use in English, which is great. We do say he's a bit of a lad. Fancy a bite to eat. Great. It's giving you basically relationship advice. I'm not really sure about this. I do like the fact they really go into it. Like you're actually using proper terms you would use in the language. So yeah, that's really good. Thumbs up with that. Before we continue, guys, let me know in the comments what you're currently using. I would love to hear kind of new ones that you've been using with generative AI. Obviously, you know I love practical AI. I've not seen that one already. But when this one popped up, especially the third one, I was like, yeah. Yes, I can add this to my language learning experience. Okay, number two, let's have a look at slang hand. Mm, very interesting, interesting stuff. So I like this one, it's really clever and it's proper slang. It uses generative AI to have authentic sounding conversations. You know, expressions, formal phrasing. So instead of just saying phrases like, how are you today in English? It's saying, you know, yo, what's up? Or, you know, you down to hang later. I don't really necessarily talk like that, but people do. So I think it's good to actually see how we use the slang in certain ways. Hey gals, do you want to go out later? Things like that, which I would say. We're going to go back to the home page, slang hang, learn expressions, regional slang, etc. It will generate a scenario for you where you have a conversation, you listen to some audio, so you won't know what to expect until you click on it. So two colleagues, Eleanor and Ben, are attending an unusual corporate team building event, a competitive cheese rolling competition in Cooper's Hill. Eleanor is cautious optimistic while Ben is more skeptical and prone to sarcastic remarks. They are standing at the top of the hill waiting for their turn to chase the cheese. So. Right, well here we are then. Cooper's Hill. Never thought I'd see the day a cheese rolling competition was part of our corporate strategy. So, testing you now, if you're learning English for example, see the day. That's not something you necessarily learn. This is common phrase that means to witness or to experience. Corporate strategy. That's rich. More like corporate lunacy, if you ask me. I'd rather be stuck in a meeting about spreadsheets. So that's rich. Again, it's explaining the ironic expression. So this is really good because 
it's allowing you to first of all come up with a scenario based situation that you don't know what's going to come up you you kind of listen to the audio identify what that specific idiom or phrase is or slang and then it will continue the conversation onwards and you can refresh new scenarios at any point i think this is really good it really works well. So now the third one and my favorite one, which is really, really cool. I would recommend you using your phone for this because it's easier to just take a quick pick and then identify the vocabulary words. So it's called Word Cam and you can kind of understand what the title means. So I've tried it on my phone, but what you can do is you can go on here, for example, we're gonna open the camera and it's me. Hello. So it's gonna take a picture of whatever's around me. So here we've got la planta, the plant. What I would suggest is take a picture on your phone. So I've got my phone, open it up. I'm gonna take a picture on my laptop of, let's say, a supermarket. Let's take a picture of the supermarket on my phone. And then you click on it, it's got shopping cart, it's got goods, supermarket. So it's identifying any vocab relevant to you and then you click on it and learn more. I really like that because it's giving you ideas like well stocked, local, nearby. I'm just popping down to the local supermarket for some milk. So this is good because let's say you're out somewhere, you can identify anything around you in the room. Guys, this is so good, definitely try it out. Now let's see, there's a guy here walking in Japan and it's giving you ideas broken dodgy. Definitely getting into the English slang there. Unreliable, be careful, it's dodgy, bright, ancient. Let's let's take a picture of my plant, for example. It's got a lot in the background. It's got the pot, la maqueta, the curtain, la cortina. So basically from that small image, it's identified quite a lot. So, you know, if you do closer images, it will be able to identify more items. It's visual, fast, and perfect for the current world we are in right now. Because everyone takes pictures wherever they are. Why not learn at the same time? Our brains are generally wired to remember visuals that we see rather than just words. I think that's why WordCam is so powerful. So to recap, Google's Little Language Lessons currently has three bite-sized lessons. Mini grammar and phrases and real world situations. It will generate anything you ask using AI, casual AI conversations with slang and fluency, and world cam taking pictures and identifying vocabulary. And this is not supposed to replace your language learning app. I'm still gonna use the one I'm using, but they do make learning fun, super quick and effective. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll pop the links below in the description. This is not official as well, so we don't know what's gonna happen, if it's still gonna be there, but definitely test it now before it goes away. And let me know how your experiment goes as well, guys. Do you like it? is it not for you is it not the way you learn let me know in the comments below if you guys did enjoy this video please do give me a like subscribe for more updates and check out my other videos where i discuss lots of different language learning methods practica ai a recent app i used using voice gpt to learn a language and lots more as well thanks guys for watching have a good one